Raphael Zeller. In translation, the name of his latest book means sweat, mud and endorphins. As an impassioned extreme sports person and ultra runner, he's fascinated by the sheer impossible. He's successfully participated in international competitions for more than 20 years. He's world and vice world champion in the military pentathlon and HESA champion in super heavyweight boxing. Nothing stops him. Neither extreme temperatures of minus 50 degrees, such as during the Montane Yukon Arctic Ultra, nor distances of 170 kilometers on scree at the Lakeland 100 in England, absolute heat like in the Namibia Desert Challenge, nor extreme obstacles such as the world's toughest mudder in Las Vegas. He's a model for many. He motivates them to overcome themselves and shows how to get fit and make it through to the finish line. We are thrilled that he has surmounted every obstacle to be with us in person today. Welcome, Raphael Zeller. So, Herr Zeller, ich freue mich, dass Sie zu uns nach Frankfurt Mr. Zeller, I'm pleased you've been able to come to Frankfurt and welcome to our headquarters of Zinn. Let me get right to it. You're wearing a T-shirt from the Fulda Challenge and also an EZM9 from us. Well, what's the connection there? Well, thanks for having me here. Thanks for the invitation. I had qualified for the Yukon Arctic Ultra. That's an, an Arctic decathlon. And you gave me the opportunity to test a utility timepiece at temperatures below zero. Usually minus 50 degrees can be expected there in winter months. So you have the cold, the jarring and the motions. Then there was an ATV tour where there was a little accident that wasn't so harmless. And then, just to mention it, there was a biathlon too. So we were up on skis and had to go uphill and down. Okay, we were just going around in circles, but there was the classic shooting too. All of that put quite a strain on the watch. Of course, our timepieces still run at temperatures below zero, but what did the others do, those with quartz watches? Yeah, yeah, that's right. The others had to work with watches that were covered up under their clothing which meant, naturally enough, that they didn't really always know what time it was. How important is the relationship between mental and physical strength? So, I think this is the same in other sports too, not just here with extreme sports. I mean, the mental aspect is decisive. It's not always just physical fitness or skill. Instead, it's a matter of what goes on in your head. It's the mental part. When you decide, even when the pain comes, and when you're running a hundred kilometers through a desert or a desert of ice, Sometimes things are going to start hurting. You get tired. You're running through the night. And that's when it becomes a matter of keeping yourself mentally fit, of holding on mentally, of keeping going and not giving up. Willpower. Willpower decides the result. Yeah, yeah, willpower is decisive. But I think that something like that is, of course, also a process of development. Personally, I also started out with simple popular sport running, five kilometers at first, then 10k city runs, and that just developed over time. You tell yourself, if I can run 10 kilometers, then I can run 21 too, a classic half marathon. And if I can run 21 kilometers, then I can do 42 as well. Through values gained from experience and competition, you develop onward and upward, and then you achieve these things and manage to do them. <laughs> the proof of it. Mr. Zeller, here we have a new model, the 105 series. And this model has a variety of functions, among them a second time zone. But first, to what it comes with, uh, well, what else it offers. I'm holding in my hand a model with a silicone band. We have the same model with a steel one, a solid steel band like on this watch here. Oh yeah, I see. 
And then we also have a possibility to have it with a leather band. Yeah, you can see that really well here. It's coordinated with the orange-colored second hand on the seam of the leather armband. Yeah, yes. that's really beautiful. Really well done. Now the functionality of the watch. The bezel has 24-hour ratcheting. Yes. Apart from that, it's also made of steel, tempered and then given a black hard coating, PVD. Yes, that's very good. So when you leave your comfort zone and you bang it against something or it gets hooked on something, then you can depend on the coating. I can gladly try it on for you. Thanks very much. Yes, that would also now be the watch that I would choose. With the black dial and the silicon armband. Yes. Very nice. Yes, it matches the T-shirt. It's a bit smaller than the utility timepiece EZM9. The diameter was 41, I think. Yes, 41 millimeters. Fits well. With the second time zone, you can always determine the direction when the sun's shining. Yeah, that's right. That's a bit difficult in Frankfurt today. There was a lot of rain. You'd have to know the exact position of the sun in the sky. I have some sun here. Sunny glass. Yes. So you have to direct the 12-hour hand to the sun. Let me do it here. And then you have the orange UTC hand, and north is right behind me. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. And this one here is also a very nice combination with the metal armband and the white. It makes a totally different statement. There are always those who love white dials. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit more difficult to get the contrast on it, but we managed to do so quite well. Oh, very well. Very well. Now, I'll just take the next alternative. This is a different watch again. Yes, without second time zone, and where you now only have an opportunity to set the second time zone with the rotating bezel. The bezel has another function here. It has a minute partition yeah. and ratchets. I mean, very lovely, very precise. And of course, you can also measure here the times you're on the road. Uh, turn it. I see. That's really nice. It can go in two directions. Can't be lost. Tempered and then with a black hard coating. I'm going to put this one on too, this watch. Well, I can wear white too. Yeah, lovely. I wouldn't necessarily wear it to leave my comfort zone, but uh, that would be your choice here, really. And by the way, the watches also look good from the back, I must say. We've allowed a peek at the watch's mechanism here. Yeah. It's really interesting when you can see how it works. And as a rule, all our watches are waterproof. Uh, we don't carry any others anymore. Now pressure resistant up to 20 bars. That's equal to about 200 meters diving depth, uh, uh, even if you, you don't have to dive 200 meters down. You don't have to dive down to 200 meters. I think it's rather dark down there as well. <laughs> but this is intended to signify safety. Yeah. We test these watches, and just to say we test them 25% higher, that means, in this case, 25 bars, so 250 meters in depth. So that means that the classic German safety factors are built right in. Yes, it's a matter of safety. And also, we have two sapphire glasses, sapphire crystal. You know, monocrystalline aluminium oxide. That's the technical term. Yes. And of course, it's very complicated to polish, and we have it here twice, front and back. Really beautiful. And in the front, we've made the glass anti-reflective, so it's easier to read. 
For instance, here we also have day date, yeah. that you can also switch over to English. That differs a bit from the UTC. So here you have the day in German and English. Yes. And here... Only the date. Just the date, yeah, that's, that's very nice. I think that will completely suffice. Yes. Serve yourself. The black, the black UTC with the black dial. It makes a very sporty impression. And the options you've just described I would also take. Right away, just as it is. It looks good on you. Yeah, I'd really like to use it for every day as well. Glad to hear it. Yeah, for, for daily wear. Mr. Zeller, great to have you visit us here. It was a special joy for me. I hope it won't be the last time that we could welcome you here in Frankfurt and that you continue to test our watches. Yes, I'd love to. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm really pleased that I could be here today and all the best for your new series of watches. Thank you.